The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent... Oh, hi there. Welcome to a next... No, wow, that was rough. Uh, welcome to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And today will be a very special Power Trading Hour. I'll do it all in interpretive dance. Just kidding. Anyway, 877-927-6648. Email me at path at tfnn.com, and uh, you'll get everything you need today. So, doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you're here at the right time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. And what do we have? Well, I think the markets are trying to make a high here. Um... We'll take a look at a few things. We'll go through. Well, the first thing that I see out here, at least in the NASDAQ, uh, is Microsoft, MSFT. Uh, coming up here, it has filled its gap, got to 310.50. Uh, as I said, I look for these uh, stocks to come into these double gaps. The reason I wrote the art of timing the trade chart the way I did for gaps is that you could see that there are multiple gaps in this case. Um, you got really two that uh, are now getting closed today. So what you're looking for today is something in the neighborhood of 45, 50 million shares. Uh, you got about 20, oh, you got about 15 now. So, you know, if you look at that one, you look at Microsoft, uh, you look at uh, Apple, which is kind of uh, backing off. It had a little bit better volume on the way up. Uh, it did open lower today and some juice coming into it, but uh, or at least price coming into it. But the juice is poor, about 53 million shares. Um, you really would like to see, you know, something like about 80 million shares right now. Um, so are we at the kind of Rubicon here where the NASDAQ has had a just a run among runs off these lows? And I think the answer is yes, that there's something afoot. The game is afoot, as uh, Sherlock Holmes used to say. So what else do we have out here? A uh, bunch of emails uh, looking at the TLT. Uh, you got a little doji out here. You're probably going to consolidate for a little bit. You could even bounce off this. But I suspect with the inverted yield curve, and I should have probably had some very dramatic, scary music, like uh, from uh, The Ghost and Mr. Chicken. I wonder how many people in the den remember that movie. One of my favorites as a kid. Uh, but that's it. We have an inverted yield curve. We've gone uh, ballistic, Mav. Uh, and uh, it, we are knocking on the door of a major recession. Uh, at least uh, that's what uh, it's pointed to in the past. Uh, in futures, of course, you have Contango and Contagion, but uh, that's it. Uh, expensive oil, too. Who could forget? Anyway, um, one of the other things I had a bunch of questions on Friday uh, was NVIDIA. And I was, you know, option maker, market makers were looking a little bit lower. NVDA. Um, but one of the things that I thought was interesting was, for the first time in two years, I brought this up on Friday's show, you could go out and buy a video card and find one at Best Buy. And it hadn't been that way in two years. They never hit the shelf. There were lines around the block. So all of a sudden, all these things hit. So is it a lack of, is it a lack of demand, uh, supply hit, hitting the fan? Well, like a lot of things, the news that really tells the truth hits later on Friday night where it's buried and no one pays attention to it. Two years ago, uh, China was uh, found uh, guilty and wanting 
in making uh, some of its products uh, uh, hack enabled uh, or uh, or uh, you know what would you say hack enabled uh, for motherboards to all kinds of different products they were putting in back doors uh, filling operating systems with hacks uh, so uh, the Trumpsters put on a 25% uh, tariffs on these uh, products uh, to uh, dissuade people from buying them. After uh, even after that, that uh, Congress couldn't get together and sing kumbaya and say uh, China is more of a threat than probably anybody else at the time. Uh, but you know, China throws a lot of money around. Probably at least a quarter of the people in Washington, D.C. get some kind of money from them. It's hard to say no, uh, but corruption is easy. So uh, we ended up with these 25% uh, tariffs on a lot of products. So at the dead of night, with nobody bringing it up or anything, uh, we find out that they've uh, quietly put those uh, tariffs to rest. No question on why they did it or answer on why they did it or anybody bothering to ask. Uh, maybe we'll get a, a question about that today in the daily press uh, pressers for those folks in Washington. But mom is the word. So is it more than likely all these video cards became available because they wanted to get them in and out of the door before these 25% uh, assembly tariffs uh, went uh, uh, went the way of the dodo. Uh, and uh, my guess is that they knew it, but no one was telling anybody else about it. So you got all, you got NVIDIA, you got AMD, you got anybody else that's making cards. Now a lot of this stuff is made in Taiwan and the, you know, for the chips that go on it, it does not apply. But for the assembled versions of this stuff, it did apply. So literally just about everything uh, that was covered by those tariffs went away except power supplies. I am not sure why that one got the exemption. They're less than, I'd say 90% of them are less than 100 bucks. But uh, certainly that one still has them on there. The idea with the tariffs was to drive uh, manufacturing and assembly to other countries that would be a little bit more friendly to us, like Vietnam, Malaysia, uh, Taiwan, um, and uh, the Philippines. Uh, there's a bunch of them down there that uh, do stuff. And we did get a lot of manufacturing moved there and to India. But uh, just a doji out here. I don't know what that's going to mean. Options really have budged on NVIDIA and AMD showing a bit lower. Uh, somewhere in next week from 270 to 260. So you got a doji. You had lots of volume um, that really came out on upgrades. I always hate that. Now you got two sideways days out here. Uh, interesting to say. Give me a call 877-927-6648. Question that in. Canadian lumber tariffs next to go? I don't know. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Turn. First question of the day. Look at clever leaves. Not so clever today. I wonder what the bag holders are saying. But uh, eh, why I don't chase, which I think was the whole question last week. But uh, eh, I do, do forget. But I think it was one of these two that we were talking about why we don't do anything. But uh, yeah. Pretty much filling the gap uh, up from uh, Friday uh, on that. Uh, somebody in the den saying NEGG on Canadian Lumber. Eh. New Egg Commerce. Is that right? Is that something else? New Egg. I don't know what they have to do with it. What do these guys do? That's a big move. Profile. This oh okay I didn't know these guys were public. Wow, this is interesting. New Egg, the company I talk a lot about about getting stuff. Wow, this is a uh, this is a big news uh, in relation to Nvidia. I don't know why that would be such a bounce for them, but uh, what else do we have out here? Uh, go back to the summary on this. Uh, I don't see anything in here that says any news. Maybe somebody has it in the den. If you're unfamiliar with Newegg, uh, if you're building your own PC, or even if you just want to buy a laptop or associated uh, uh, equipment, Newegg.com, I've been buying stuff for 20 years. I buy a little less stuff from them now. In the old days, uh, prior to about six months or nine months ago, um, you didn't pay sales tax if you bought it. They're a, uh, a California company. But uh, and they're collecting sales tax now. And so it ends up being one of those things where it's not always cheapest to go to them. They've also had kind of a black eye lately on uh, some of their uh, customer relations, shall we say, or lack thereof. But uh, I'll have to dig into this. 
I don't. I didn't see anything in the news, but certainly up sixty percent on that. I wonder if this is just all that same news. I wouldn't have thought that would have done it, but uh, eh, let me uh, see here. Uh, let me go to my deep inside source for information on this stuff. Uh, Okay. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Okay. Amazon's talking about buying them out. Now that makes a lot more sense. Um, yeah. So that's it. Okay. That's what I was going to say. I didn't think that any of the uh, uh, a, uh, the Nvidia stuff would make any sense. But uh, yeah, you know, probably not a bad idea. Like I said. Uh, Everything comes from California, so it was always five days ground, which I didn't mind so much. Um, but maybe, you know, with all the heat they've been taking over a customer uh, support and, and uh, relationships, which they've gotten a ton of on uh, YouTube, most of the influencers have been kind of, uh, eh, Less than generous in the way that uh, they got treated by New Egg, so uh, that would make sense. True or not, I can see the bounce now. Yeah, it could just be Goldman Sachs playing and getting out, getting long, and that would be it. Pump and dump. You never know. Uh, but I don't think it has anything to do with them having more product from Nvidia or AMD. I think they were getting what they ever did, and it's. Any of these places are six, eight, ten percent margins uh, at best, generally. Uh, but um, yeah, Newegg's probably thinking it's a good time to get out. Uh, they were horrible to people over the last two years because of those video cards. They would take crappy computers that were worth, basically worthless, and shove these very nice video cards in it. They were going a thousand dollars over retail uh, by uh, scalpers, and then. Uh, making people buy the crappy computer at about two or three hundred dollars more than it was worth to get rid of the crappy uh, products that they had that were lying around, um, and that was just one of the horrible things they were doing. Uh, don't I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Maybe they're waiting for the feds to show up and want to get out of Dodge before that happens. But New Egg, N E G G. I'd forgot that they got that they had gone public. Probably because if you look at the chart for a long time, probably not a whole lot there. <laughs> Seventy nine dollars and seven cents uh, back here on July seventh, twenty twenty one. Look at that, uh, down to eight bucks. So a tenth of the price, a twentieth of the price, not too long ago, and people were still thinking about shorting it. Uh, okay, so what else do we have going on today? Let's do a little history, and then we'll move on. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1995, Kodak releases the DC-40 camera, which is the only second digital camera for the consumer market. Why, introduced over a year after Apple's Quick Take 100, which is, I think it was like 400 by 240, I think these things were just miserable res resolution. Kodak's marketing was largely responsible for popular, uh, popularizing digital photography. I think it was 1998 before you got to 800 by 600 uh, resolution. And now, of course, uh, 4K cameras are a dime or dozen, and they're in every cell phone. Generally now, this is a case study for uh, companies that are uh, breaking into a new market. And that is, uh, if you get the incumbent position, uh, don't try to make money early, which is what Kodak did. Uh, you want to make sure and, and probably just try to break even and own the industry and kind of keep revving uh, parts. They, like many old stodgy companies, couldn't get past uh, the business models that they had in the past. And there was a lot of reasons. Uh, I think the memory, some of the memory cards were uh, proprietary to what they were doing. There was other things going on. 
But uh, by 1999, they were no longer the leader in digital photography. And now, just a uh, footnote in history. Uh, is that worth something? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're, it just it's tough for people that uh, have w uh, worshipped, uh, you know, cameras like Nikons and Hasselblads for all their life. I was really into photography in my teens and uh, worked for a city newspaper taking photography uh, of uh, games, high school games. So I'd go to 10, 15 different uh, high schools on a Friday night to take pictures for them all. Uh, eh, this day in 1995. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And, uh, yeah, I had, to, I had to think about it for a little while. I'm just wondering how much money I have in lenses and stuff from old... Uh, old film type photography it's actually coming back a bit uh and people are starting to develop film again but uh i remember it was a sad day maybe five six years ago the last kodachrome developer was out in kansas and they were done they took my kodachrome away how did he know how did he know uh, okay sue in bethesda how you doing 
so much. Uh, David, taking my call. Yeah, I have a stock it for, for a long time. Uh, M F F M G F. What is that? Can you, this is a uh, it's a small cap. It's a gold gold mining or something. Mister. I can't find F, it. No, F is a friend. F is a friend. M is a Mary. G is a girl. F is a friend. First mining yeah. gold. Yeah. Something yeah. Like, yes. You know this is an over-the-counter stock, right? Well, I don't know how we get it. A long time ago. Okay. So yeah, what's your question? What's your question? Losing money all the time. I just wonder what's going on. It's, we couldn't see the chart either. Yeah. No, it's a. Uh, I don't know how much money you paid for it. I pay more than 30 cents, 32 cents. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of those. But uh, so I've, never heard, I've, I've never heard of it. I would, if it was an over-the-counter stock, I would have told you to never, ever buy it. But uh, maybe Tom O'Brien knows something about it. He's seen it uh, bopping around, knows something more than me. I'd, I'd call him in another hour. But, uh, yeah, I... I would, you know, I'm not a big fan of talking to anybody about buying over-the-counter stocks because 90% mm -hmm. of them are scams of some si uh, some uh, uh, size or another. So you can just assume 90% of them are going to go to zero, at least in my opinion. So oh maybe this is God. maybe this is one in the ten. One in the the ten. I do not know, but uh, I wouldn't. You know, you can't really. By reading charts, tell much about uh, over-the-counter stocks. They're almost always manipulated. Maybe this is one that goes to to a buck. Uh, maybe it goes to zero. Uh, but uh, there's uh, this is much more a, a gamble than any kind of prudent speculation. Oh, I see. Okay, I appreciate that so much. Thanks. That gives you a bet. lesson. I don't know how we get this and and. I don't know. This with uh, a lot of stock too. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least you you haven't lost it all, and you still have an opportunity to sell it if you choose. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's why I would say call you. Maybe you can help me to look at the trend because I have a lot of the five thousand shares. So I thought we have a trend and can get rid of it. Yeah, I I talked to a Tom O'Brien. Maybe he knows something about this that I don't know because uh, he looks oh, okay. at gold stocks a lot. Uh, a lot uh, closer, but uh, no, uh, especially with gold oh. at eighteen uh, at eighteen hundred or nineteen hundred bucks, uh, there's no reason to have any of these uh, companies be over the counter at this point. I see. Okay, okay. Thank you, really, I appreciate it for your time. Okay. okay, can you do me another one? I, another one too is the same thing. L B P S. L B. P S. P S. L is a Lally and the L L B B is a boy and P S Peter and S is is the same. And this one is this I bought it it's a it's a real sock and then they spread it out. I don't know why it is it, this one is really L B P S. Yeah. Uh Okay. And I'm trying to figure out. That is more like a, a, a well, at least it's on. The, yeah, at least it's on the Nasdaq. Hang on a second. Uh, what do I got here? Uh, okay. Eh, hang on a second. Oh, there was it went up to eight dollar and then fall down again. Yeah, hang on just a second here. Uh, just, uh. Okay. I had, to I had just give me a minute here. I had a program lock up everything on the computer and I had to go off and kill it. Okay, L B 
PS. Okay. Okay. Let's see if there's any data for it. Okay. 40 Pharma. You popped up to $8.80. You've come back. This is where you, if you were going to buy it, this is where you'd want to buy it. I take it you bought it higher? Yeah. Oh, this is more than $15. Uh, is a split from some somebody. This is an old stock. And, 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 and come down and come down. It just went up to $8. And then now come down again. This is the time to buy, you say? Uh, this would be our, our, yeah, I would buy if I was going to do it, but I probably wouldn't. But at least this is on the NASDAQ, so you got a, uh, a chance. Um, uh, who's, your, who's your broker? Just my broker? Yeah. To, to buy it? Yeah. No, who do you use to buy and sell stocks? Who's your broker? Oh, no, TD Meditrade. Okay. I would call them uh, and and uh, start, you know, you need to probably get somebody to get a hold of these. It sounds to me like you're buying high and selling low or going to. I would just, uh, I would talk to them. Who, who's telling you to buy these stocks? They don't mysteriously to show up in your account, do they? No. We have it, uh, a different kind of stock. It's the same, uh, I guess, uh, they, they, they buy out or something, and, and that's what we got it. Yeah, but who's telling you to buy these things? I knew it, it's a, this is a long, long time ago. Okay. Well, I, I would say that you probably want to start doing some of your own work and start looking at some of these stocks yourself. Um, whoever you're taking advice from, maybe they just had a bad uh, run of bad luck, but I would be very, uh, whoever is buying over-the-counter stock uh, stuff, if uh, you haven't been around the market for 20 years, I probably wouldn't be doing it. And biotechs are probably just as bad if you're not a very sophisticated investor. So uh, yeah. make sure before you buy anything else or sell anything, um, probably won't get the, everything you want, but I talked to your broker. Call back in an hour and uh, ask for uh, Tom O'Brien on the uh, gold Okay, stock. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so very much for your time, David. Okay. Thanks yeah. so much. Okay, Bye. thanks. Bye. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. 
TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. As we go back to the email, we've got uh, to, to, to about 18, what is this, 1912 close for Carnival, for the last tick anyway. Question about what we do would do for a, uh, a entry point. Um, of course, this one's, uh, the big problem I have is we live in a city where we have these Carnival ships. And I saw an article, I think, or on the TV, maybe midweek, about them shipping out with 30% of the people on it. Eventually, it'll probably do okay. But uh, I have a feeling that there's going to be a big overhang of debt on this. I wouldn't uh, want to be long this uh, at anything uh, above about 1625. So you'd need a pretty significant pullback. But uh, the way things are going, fuel prices, uh, everything else, um, these, uh, you're going to be looking at uh, a lot of times 50% higher uh, airfare probably uh, starting after Christmas, which is their big season, the snowbird seasons. So even if they do well, it's going to be very tough uh, going the next year or so. So I'd want to buy these at literally a fire sale level. And uh, the first fire sale levels at uh, 1625, the next one's at $14.94 back to that March 8th low. And by the end of the summer, I think you could see that if fuel prices remain high. Okay. Yeah, there's, like somebody said at the end, there's better trades out there, I think. Uh, there's a uh, saying on the street that says, change the name. Uh, for me, uh, if you want to be in this space, uh, Boeing is continuing to get huge amounts of orders. Um, I'd still want this thing to pull back uh, to probably about 178 or so. But if it did so on light volume, but it's going sideways here. So if uh, this thing starts moving up, maybe it's the first one to go. They at least have orders, and it's a little bit better uh, to see what's going on. But uh, business is good there. I don't think you have the same risk uh, for travel as you do in uh the floating petri dishes that are uh, the cruise ships. Okay. As they say, change the name. Big way on that. Okay, question says, uh, when will the uh, short squeeze in GME and AMC end? And that pretty much ends uh, when they go bankrupt or uh, when people quit shorting. And let's uh, take a quick look at... Uh, what these guys have on in the shorts. Uh, and not so bad on the days, about four days to cover. Uh, the bigger issue is just how heavy these things are shorted each day, which is uh, inner day, sometimes 30%. And that's been for the last week or so. Um, I think Tom O'Brien brought this up right for the end of the show. Yeah, NVIDIA has 1% short interest. It also has 40% of its shares shorted each day. 
So by the end of the day, those folks have to cough it up and uh, turn around. So I'm not a big fan of being in these stocks where everybody's piling in either day or on a long term or even on a short term basis uh, just to get squeezed out before the end of the day. But uh, there you go. Um, let's see. Let's take a quick look at AMC. But, uh, yeah, still on Friday, even with uh, the move up, you still had 30, uh, 27 uh, percent of the shares being shorted that day. And that's the FINRA data, which you get uh, every day. But it doesn't tell you how many people stayed short. Uh, twice a month, you get a accounting. But that accounting is somewhere 20-some, uh, well, not 20. It is somewhere around 14 days in the rearview mirror. So even though you know that there's 1% short, what you know is a 1% short 12 days or 14 days ago. So that's always uh, problematic. Um, okay. Oh, so we we're going to look at AMC, too. See if that's any different. Uh, you got a big day here. 30% um, short on Friday. So, you know, generally... When you see these things come back, it was just like uh, Tesla. Uh, Tesla, uh, at a lot of times, was 40% short during a day, or 40% of the shares were shorted. They probably covered before the end of the day. Uh, there still was fairly high short interest going on, but they'll just continue up and up, and eventually they run out of steam and they fall apart. Uh, two, two, two. Anyway, today you got lots of volume. But what's the uh, bi monthly? about two days to cover problem is everybody sees the market possibly going lower in the morning they hop on uh and like i said friday a third of the shares one of almost one out of every three was shorted that day and you know if they're not building up they're covering and uh so just keep an eye on it now i could see on this one as it got to 20 bucks that's probably where you'd be 20 21 bucks it's probably where you'd think about shorting but again, um, these are easy targets. This, uh, as soon as everybody starts shorting, uh, they start squeezing on you. 877-927-6648. Uh, got a request here. It says, can you bring up the Tiger Dens trading room? It has just been released $1 a year on the front page of TFNN. So there. Uh, we've made the transition, and now we're willing to branch out. Uh, to new folks so if you wanted to uh, take the plunge it's only a dollar for a year on the front you can get into our discord room uh, and uh, be with the cool cats are in stock trading 877-927-6648 email me at path at tfnn.com and we'll get back here uh, to that okay um Recheck Microsoft, as I said, uh, this thing hit highs here today. Uh, we want to make sure the volume's right. Need about 45 million shares. You got about 17. So, yeah, can they drag it a little bit farther? Um, they certainly can and might. But I suspect we're very close uh, to some kind of retreat. But, uh, you know, you really needed to break through. Um, three hundred and ten dollars on Microsoft with some volume today, um, but uh, you know, is it the weakest stock? No, there's a bunch of other stocks that you could go weak on uh, that go short on, but I don't think it's Microsoft or Apple. It's they're still getting the love. Um, Apple kind of recovered a bit today, uh, still going into its previous highs. I don't see a lot of people getting all excited about that. Um, yeah, not a lot of movement in AMD or in anything else. Just sideways, actually. Uh, question about MU. Uh, did what you talk about at the beginning of the show really change anything? No, these things are just going sideways. You didn't get a whole lot of bounce out of these. I'm still thinking that we could have bigger problems afoot in the end of it. We'll be back after this.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. As we return... Uh, looking at volume out here, the uh, 7.7 .7 billion shares uh, should be doing about 15 billion by the end of the day. So we're nowhere close. This is like volume overall. Let's take a quick look at the queues. Um, so you've hit the gap. Um, that gap came down with 112 million shares. You got 57, 41 million shares today going into that gap back on February the 10th. So I don't see a lot going on there. You pretty much tagged where you want to be in the queues. Uh, so there's kind of that. Uh, let's take a quick, quick uh, at the SMHs, see if anything's going on there. Uh, a little less. Yeah, I. it's hard to think that other than a few stocks being higher like Microsoft or uh, everybody piling into Apple. There's much going on here, certainly in a lot of volume. Uh, the TLT uh, tried to bounce today, could not. The inv uh, in, uh, inverted yield curves out there, and people are still diving into equities as they think a sign of uh, or a place to hide out. Um, I don't think that's going to last very long, but it is lasting this long. Uh, one last question on CCJ. 
coming back to support here at uh, 28 bucks. Um, yeah, I think you have to sit on your hands. As long as energy uh, is in the news, uh, Kamiko, I think, is going to be in the catbird seat. You broke out with a sign of strength. Uh, if you are not in long on this already, if it got back to 2650 on light volume, very nice. Sell when you can, not when you have to, and we will be back tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time.